citizen and 24 years old. Currently, I'm a student at Alliance Francaise de Delhi doing a course in French. I have a master's degree in French translation and a bachelor's degree in sociology. I would describe myself as someone who is responsible and organized, so for me, it's quite a challenge to work with people who don't get their work done on time and who try to pass on their responsibilities to other people. Um, the best way to kind of avoid the situation or to make it easier would be by uh, having a strong sense of communication between the members. Maybe meeting up at the end of the day and figuring out what has been done and what needs to be done and how to go on about it. The biggest challenge in life that I've had to go through would probably be moving back to India from Canada. Since I was quite young when we left, uh, when I came back, I had a lot of language issues, cultural differences, but um, all of this made me realize the in, just the amount of inner strength that I have, and it made me realize the importance of patience and of not judging people, of trying out new things and new experiences, because there's always something to be gained from all of this. And uh, Today I find that I find it quite easy to adapt to new uh, situations, to new experiences, to new people. And um, the second biggest challenge would probably be um, the decision to become a French student. Because in India, a lot of importance is given to maths and sciences. So these students end up becoming engineers and doctors. And for me, I was interested in history, literature, and art, and languages. So all this made me realize the importance of standing up for what you believe in because there will always be people who try to doubt you and they try to bring you down. But it's up to you to make the decisions that you believe in and that you're passionate about because at the end of the day, it's you that has to live with the decisions you've made. So that's what I learned from this challenge. And uh, if I find out the day before that a member has not completed their task, I would probably talk to them, um, figure out how much work has been done and what needs to be done and I would try to work together with them and uh, to finish the task before the deadline. And uh, if uh, I, I'm in the internship and I'm trying to call the other members, they're not picking up their call or replying to my emails and I need to go to the supermarket, I really wouldn't mind just going out on my own and just exploring and figuring things out. I would love the opportunity to just go out on my own and see how things work. Because whenever you have someone there to help you out all the time, you tend to depend on them and that kind of makes you weaker. So if people weren't picking up my calls, I actually wouldn't mind at all. And I would love the opportunity just to explore on my own. And um, feedback, uh, this is the first internship that I will be doing, so I have not had feedback from a previous internship. But just in general, my teachers always tell me that I'm too hard on myself because when I do something, I want to give it my all. I want to be the best at it. But even after the task is finished, I'm always looking for ways that I could have done better and ways that I could have improved. So. Um, my teachers usually tell me to relax a little bit and uh, overall I think feedback is a great way to figure out what people think of you and how to improve yourself because sometimes we do something and we think it's been taken a certain way but it's actually the exact opposite. So feedback gives us an opportunity to look at it from another perspective. So I think constructive criticism is a great thing and I always welcome good feedback and I would like to thank you for this opportunity and I hope to see you in Brazil very soon. Thank you.